Hello! In today's video, I'm going to start to share with you my collection of Pandora bracelets and charms. Because I have six different Pandora bracelets that are filled with charms. The first Pandora bracelet that you're going to see talks about my life history, both in Brazil, where I was born, and in the United States, where I have been living for the last 14 years of my life. My wrist is really tiny and skinny, so all my Pandora bracelets are 6.7 of an inch. Pandora really has an infinity of different bracelet styles. My favorite style is what they call the snake style, which is this bracelet which is not very rigid. This is a soft bracelet, and I have tried what they call bangle bracelet, which is their rigid style of bracelet, and I did not like it very much because I did not find it to be as comfortable as this style here. So you're going to notice that all the bracelets in my collection are these snake bracelets. The snake bracelet is indeed Pandora's best seller. The one that you're going to see here in this first bracelet is called the Two-Tone Rose Gold Plated Clasp Bracelet. This bracelet here is all made out of silver, but the clasp is made out of silver and copper and then plated with 14 karat gold. The safety chain that I have on this bracelet is called Enchanted Heart, and it has small little hearts all over the safety chain. I think it's really important to have a safety chain in any of your Pandora bracelets to protect yourself from ever losing any charm. I have never had any issue with any of my Pandora bracelets opening up, but if it ever happens, the safety chain is going to prevent that your charms fall on the floor and get lost. This bracelet here is now filled with charms, as you can notice here. But this bracelet was actually a gift from my husband in 2014, during Christmas. He gifted me this bracelet with the bracelet that you see here, the clips, these two heart-shaped clips here, and also all the Muranos, these colorful Muranos that you see here. I'm going to leave a picture on the side here of how was this bracelet before I filled the right and left section with more charms. When I received it from my husband, he just picked the bracelet and this colorful Muranos here with the clips, like you're seeing here in the picture. And all these beautiful, colorful Murano stones here are not actually by chance. This was a very thoughtful gift that my husband gave to me. And I'm going to tell you the story behind it right now. When my husband and I were still dating, one day he sent me a picture showing me some very beautiful, colorful vases that he had in his home. I'm going to leave the picture right here so that you can understand it. And as soon as I look at, at this picture, I told him, I really like these vases, but what I like even more about these vases are their colors. Because if you take a look at the colors of these vases, you're going to see that we have the yellow, the green, the blue, and the red. And I told him, these vases are actually the mixture of the colors of our countries. My husband is North American. So we can see that we have a red vase and a blue vase, and the white is the absence of color. And I'm from Brazil originally, so if you take a look at the Brazilian flag, you're going to see the colors yellow, green, white, and blue. So I told him, these vases are actually the combination of our both countries. And he was like, wow, that's right, I had never noticed that. 
and he was joking and he even said well if one day we ever get married this would be a great colorful combination for our wedding bands so that's exactly what happened when we got married we designed our wedding bands with all these colors that you see right here. I'm going to leave a picture of our wedding bands. For my engagement ring, I picked a ruby stone to my ring. I know that most women prefer diamonds, but I really like rubies, especially the red ruby. So that's what I chose for my engagement ring. But for our wedding bands, you're going to see the same pattern of colors that you see in this bracelet here and on the vases. So we are going to have a yellow stone, a green stone, a white stone, a blue one, and a red stone. So when I received this bracelet here as a Christmas gift, as soon as I look at all these colorful here, of course, I immediately was able to recognize that these colors are what we call our colors now, because they are the mixture of the colors of Brazil and also the United States. So it was a really thoughtful present from my husband and I really love it. Now, the right part on this bracelet here represents a little bit of my journey while I was still living in Brazil. First of all, I have this Bible charm here, which has a cross in the front of it. We can see the little pages here on the side, and we have the Pandora markings here on the back of it. And I picked this Bible because I am a Christian and because God really defines who I am. Now I have four more charms here. We have a little graduation owl, which has a tiny, super cute hat here and some stone is on the belly. I have this Pandora dangle, which says teacher and it's painted with some enamel. And on the other side, we can see Pandora written. I also have this set of books. We have a little owl with a hat here, and these books are always stacked. And on the back of them, we can read study. And the next one is an apple, which is covered with stones. Even on the top here, we have some green stones and on the base is some red stones. And the reason why I have these four charms here is to represent, first of all, my college education. Because when I was still in Brazil, I went to university and I finished my course there in languages. I studied Portuguese, English and literature at university. I started and finished my college education in Brazil, so those were some great years of my life. And I also started to study English in a private course when I was only nine years old. And I finished that course in this private English school in Brazil, and I started to teach English at the same course where I studied all my life in Brazil. And it was an English private school and those years were just unforgettable for me because at this English school I had the opportunity to teach students from all the ages you can imagine. My younger students were about four or five years old and my older students were 80 or plus. So I worked with small children, with teenagers, with adults, and I even had an elderly group there. So I really loved to be a teacher. That was something that I was doing and it did not even feel like a job because I just loved it so much that every single day working in that English school for me was just fun. It was just fun, I just loved it. So I decided to dedicate this part here of my bracelet to remind me of these wonderful years that I had in Brazil. Now, on the other side of this bracelet here, we are going to see a royal crown, which is plated with rose gold. I also have this little dangle here, which says Mrs. 
and the little dot in the end is a red heart. I also have these two dice charms here. They're actually exclusive from Las Vegas. You cannot buy these dice here at regular Pandora stores or online. I got these here in Vegas. And I also have a Welcome to Las Vegas sign here. Both of these dangles, they just say Pandora on the back. And the last charm that I have here is this little bone here. So now I'm gonna tell you the story behind each charm here. Well, I got this crown here in honor to two people that I really love in my life. First of all, my mother because she's really a queen. She's not only my mother, but also my best friend. She's in Brazil and I just miss her to pieces, but she's still present in my life every single day. So she's my queen. So I picked this charm in honor to her and also in honor to my husband, who is the love of my life and treats me like a princess, like a queen every single day. And since I met him, my life has just been happier and happier. I'm really blessed to have him in my life. So that's what this crown represents. And I also have this Mrs. Dangle here, which represents my marriage. Uh, I got this after I got married. So I became a Mrs. <laughs> And we spent our honeymoon in Las Vegas. So I got this trio here of these three different charms to represent that. It was really fun. I had never been to Vegas, so my first time in Vegas was during our honeymoon. Uh, we came back to Vegas when my husband turned 50 years old to celebrate that with his parents. It was a really fun trip too. So I have these charms here to remind me of our trip to Vegas. And this year was the latest charm I got, which is this little bone here. And it says, I love my dog. <laughs> and I got this charm here four years ago when we got our little Maltese dog, Chili. <laughs> That's right, we named him Chili because he is a Chili dog. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? He is just the cutest thing ever. If you have watched some of my other videos, you have probably spotted him uh, in some of the videos. He's always around. <laughs> so I really love him and he's definitely a very important part of my family. Pandora is a Danish jewelry manufacturer and retailer and it was founded in the year of 1982 by Per Involsin and his then wife Winnie. Have you ever noticed that all of the Pandora pieces have the same trademark AO written somewhere? Whether we are talking about the Pandora earrings, their necklaces, their rings, their bracelets or their charms, there is always that AO hidden somewhere in the piece. And do you know what that AO, A-L-E, stands for? Actually, AO is the initial not of the founder of the Pandora, because the founder of Pandora is Per Involsin, but Per Involsin's father is called Elgot Involsin. So here we have the AO, because Elgot starts with A and L, so we have the AL. And Involsin, their last name, starts with the letter E. So that's why we have AO market in all Pandora pieces. Did you know that? Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the Pandora bracelets and charms that I'm gonna show you in my next videos here on YouTube. My second bracelet has a trip theme to it. So I'm the kind of person who loves to travel and every time I travel, I usually buy a Pandora charm where I am. So I have this bracelet to represent some of the places that I have seen, both in the United States and out of it. And my 
third Pandora bracelet is about Disney World, because I live in the United States in the city of Orlando, so I'm very close to Disney World. And I love Disney, so I gotta have a bracelet just about Disney. I also have a bracelet just about London, because a few years ago I took a very special trip to London, and, and my next two bracelets, they don't have a very deep meaning like the previous ones, but they are still very special, because one of them has my favorite color, which is pink, and also some hearts, because I just like hearts. And the last bracelet that you're gonna see in this video is what I call my blue star bracelet. It's just because I wanted something in blue and I like stars too. So if you... Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed recording it. Please remember to like and also subscribe to my channel. Leave me your comments here and also check out my other videos. I have other videos here in my channel talking about the rest of my Pandora collection. I have a video here talking about my earring Pandora collection, my necklace collection, my ring collection. I have another video also talking about the history of the Pandora with several curiosities about the brand too. So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to check my playlist about Pandora because you're probably going to enjoy my other videos too. So that's it. Thank you so much and bye bye. I have other... I have... I have other videos here in my channel.